Welcome back to The Sims 4 Werewolves Rage to Riches. Though I guess it's only really Nina raging. I mean, Angus does sometimes, but we're trying to keep him sort of more on track. And today, I definitely want to focus a little bit more on Angus because I want to get him leveled up, get him through the Moonwood Collective and maybe up the ranks a few times. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I also want to make sure to check on Cupcake and make sure they're okay. <laughs> This world looks so good with snow. I just gotta say, like this is, this looks so beautiful, especially that lot and that lot and that lot and also that lot over there. <laughs> All right, so Angus, actually we've got a little bit of money. I kind of want to, let me check my model. This is what we're basing our build off of. <laughs> so if I can build the next level, actually, I don't think I can, isn't it too much money? Ooh, so close, I need 2000. All right, we're gonna have to earn some more money. Okay, we won't worry about that too much right now. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Angus is actually quite tired. So let's go to sleep. Nina, Nina's doing really well. She's doing really, really well. I actually wanna go in the tunnels a bit more with her. It's been a little while because I wanna see if we can start linking up more of the pathways. So I'm gonna get her to go over here. Okay, where did you leave your bicycle by the way? Because <laughs> I have no idea where it is. It's in the world somewhere. Is it over at the Moonwood Collective again? Because I did dump them here for a while. I don't know. If anyone sees a bike, let me know. Um, oh, we need to get the lunar fish too. So I guess now's not a great time that it's snowing, but something to also keep in mind. Okay, well, I don't know where a bike is, so we're just gonna have to go over here. Let's, have a, let's do a little sparring match with some of my werewolf mates. Uh oh, we're getting a little furious. Who's that? I don't know who that is, but let's be ferocious. And maybe we'll get some money. Actually, we could use more money anyway. <laughs> yeah, 377. Dang, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I might jump to the bar because there might be some other supernaturals that show up here, like um, some more vampires, which would be good. Then we can fight with them. In the meantime, where's my pack? Hey, pack mates. Oh, there's my bike. <laughs> I'm gonna contribute some limestone. How's that? Uh oh. Oh no, that's just a bonfire. Oh hey, what's up? Are you part of the pack or? I'm gonna ask you about being an alpha rank. Do I actually like learn stuff when I ask you about this? Cause I would like to learn. What's it like being an alpha? Okay, I feel like she doesn't actually tell me anything about it. <laughs> I was trying to learn so I can overthrow. Ah, oh, Lilith. If I wasn't a werewolf, I think I'd want to be a mermaid. Surprise, dad, don't be. They also have a connection to the moon, you know, with the tides and all that. Did you know mermaids can stay out of the water longer during a full moon? There you go. I do now. Okay, well, Lilith is there, but I don't really want to fight Lilith. Oh, candles here. Go get some candles, sweet, sweet money. Candle big wallet, give me that money. Oh, nothing. Let's sniff and introduce, oh, she doesn't like me. I guess we, we might have had a little bit of a run in earlier. Oh, bye. What about you? You seem like you could be a supernatural. I don't know, you just seem kind of sus with the glasses and the mustache. I don't trust you. I'm gonna ask them if they're a mermaid. Maybe you're a mermaid. I'm gonna ask for some werewolf sympathy. A mermaid would give you that impression. It'd be pretty funny if he was a mermaid. Hey, Caleb. We could probably fight Caleb, right? Uh oh, I'm sad. Sympathy denied. Hey, Caleb. Wanna fight? <laughs> don't run away. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. Vlad's here. Now Vlad, let's insult your feeble nature because I was trying to fight you last time. Oh, mom, what do you want? Rose, Poppyfield and I were planning on spending some casual friend time together. Yeah, okay, sure. I don't know who that is and I don't know why you're asking me. Oh, where did Vlad go? Why does everyone keep leaving me? I just want to fight. Assert correctness. I guess that's because I'm self-assured. Ah, oh, Lilith. Hey, Lilith, what's going on? <laughs> oh. Why is everyone scared away from me? I'm just trying to say hi. Hey Wolfgang, you want to tug of war? Nah? All right. <laughs> okay, I should probably go back to, to Angus. All right, Angus, can we, um, cause you're a little in red. Oh, still can't do a summer howl. I feel like that takes too long to cool down. And also I'm getting, I always get ferocious so quickly. I guess cause I'm trying to do so many werewolf things. Ah, oh, Brody's still here. Hey Brody. Well, we gotta go become friends with my pack. That That's actually an important thing we do need to do. So let's go over to our pack. There is no one here, but you know, we'll figure it out. Let's go find, let's try finding a common ground with Brody. Cause now that he has like the werewolf, um, like he likes, well, doesn't like, he doesn't like werewolves, but he doesn't hate us as much by default. So, you know, we're not so different after all. We both got red hair. I'm your descendant. You kind of like werewolves now. You like Angus. I'm his brother. Oh, I'm, no, I'm his sister. There you go. That actually kind of worked. Let's discuss fitness techniques. No, no, no. Stop. Guys, stop yelling. Be nice. Be nice. Super. That's tempting. <laughs> what about, what about, can we build a snow pal? Oh, what? I can't build one with Brody. <laughs> 
This is not going well. Uh, what about... I'll ask you about vampire history. How about that? People like to talk about themselves, so maybe he'll like that. <laughs> okay, so none of my pack is here. I'm going to assume they're all at home. Call pack mates to the hangout. I need to become friends with Jacob and Wolfgang. Let's just invite Jacob out. You better not be like, I'm sleeping. You're a werewolf, so get out of here. <laughs> How you guys going? Oh. Oh. I leave for 30 seconds. How did we end up here? Supernatural Smackdown. I literally left you on such a beautiful conversation. Look, I, I was asking about his vampire history. Oh, come on, guys. Is that really necessary? It's also kind of... Oh, my God. Brody, no. Oh, we're floating. I'm going to guess it is supernatural. Jacob's already here. Okay, this is working wonderfully right now. Oh, what? How did you lose? Aren't you an alpha and apex werewolf? God, guys, do I have to babysit this conversation? Let's ask the stargaze, even though you hate me. Maybe that'll work. All right, what's going on over here? Apparently Jacob's already here. I mean, I don't know where here is, because he ain't here. <laughs> is he in the world somewhere? Potentially, but he ain't where I want him to be. Also, I saw a thumbs down over there, uh, so they might not <laughs> stargazing. Jacob? Jacob? Are you out there? Where are you? It's so lonely out here all by myself. I did make some food though, so that's nice. Yeah, I have a plate. What are you guys up to? D don't fight again. Okay, we're chatting. All right, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, I've gone enraged. Right, um, well, look, there's not much I can do except marking my territory. Marking! Any other sims around? Because I wouldn't mind, like, fighting people. Oh, wait, what, what happened? Oh, I reshrank beta just by peeing on the floor. Yeah! Radical! Mina has been promoted to the rank of beta in the Wild Fangs. New unlock. The world's most inaccurate sundial has been added to Nina's inventory. It's also available for purchase. Awesome. So, rank beta. Nina is a beta. Oh, okay, that's rude. I'm not a beta. I'm an alpha. <laughs> the highest rank under the pack's alpha. She can now pack, mentor, and discipline pack mates in both the Omega and Delta ranks. If Nina wants to be the Alpha, she has to do more than just adhere to pack values. Leadership must be won by challenging the current Alpha. Is Nina willing to take that risk? The sweet taste of power. Yeah, I mean, also, I am, I'm a little enraged right now. Maybe I can just try sleeping. Let's sleep it off. There you go. All right, um, oh, why are you enraged too? What, what's going on with you? <laughs> Dang it, why can't I? Maybe that'll help. I'm not very good at not being enraged, I gotta say. Although maybe now that he's leveled up a bit, he'll be better at like resisting. That'd be nice. Um, well, I did want to talk to, J I was trying to become friends with Jacob, but he's just not here. So I guess I'll scavenge. Scavenging. But I guess that makes me more enraged by doing werewolf stuff, right? So that might set me off. I don't know, I think we're good. A little howl, howl back, very nice. Well, can I, let me go in here then. Check pack resources. What does that even, oh, I can just like take stuff out of here. Is that how that works? Grilled Luna fish. Yum. Oh, don't mind if I do. I mean, I don't really need it, but I'm gonna eat it. Angus learned how to make grilled Luna fish. Uh oh, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Try to regain control, Angus. You got this. You are more powerful than the rage. Oh no, the fury. Oh. Oh no, it did work. Okay, we're good. Whew. Good one. Now, Nina, yeah. Nina is enraged. Can we, okay. Be some time before Nina can be pa- But she's like been enraged twice since the last time she was pacified. Why can't I pacify her? Like, why do you have to wait so long? I guess it's kind of good though, to be honest. Not in general, but for Nina's character, because I feel like we're sort of making her to be this very rash, like albeit powerful werewolf, but she's young and, you know, a bit naive. So she doesn't have great control. So she's not as mature, but what, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Why are you still there? Anyway, so I guess she's enraged. Um, the problem is it happens at nighttime. I want to go to, I really want to go to Vlad's house and eat his junk. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Okay, Vlad is definitely here. I'm gonna need to bring Angus and maybe, because Nina won't be able to knock on the door. Wait, knock on the door. Please let me in. I like how my last marking of, oh yes, come on in. My last marking of the territory was just that. All right, Angus, you can go home. You don't need to be involved in this. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of his coffins. <laughs> Nom 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 Can I get rid of cobwebs? No, I can't. <laughs> this is oh, this is the best thing ever. My this is I think this is my favorite thing from the werewolf pack. It's just eating people's houses. <laughs> you can like eat almost everything. It's kind of nuts. Like if I just go through, I can just get rid of all this stuff. And it levels me up too, which is great. Oh, but hang on, there's one more coffin. Let's get rid of that one. Yoink! Mine. Nom 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 nom. All right. Oh yeah, this is the renovation we did to his living room. Because I think he, he said he liked boho and uh, 
I guess pink, probably, by the looks of it. <laughs> well, it's something expensive we could eat. Well, can we have a supernatural, less supernatural smackdown? Come on. I'm an alpha and an apex. Surely I can beat <laughs> Vlad now. Oh, where are we going? Does that work? I don't think so. Vlad? Oh, he got scared outside. Supernatural smackdown. Come on, let's do it. 1v1 me, bro. 1v1, let's do this. I'd like to see you trying to beat me. He might actually beat me. But I, I might win. Oh, yeah. Come on, Nina. Come on, Nina. I love the red and the purple that you can see going on in there. This is like the darkest cloud ever, though. It'd be nice if it wasn't in the middle of the... Whoa, that's a bright light. It'd be nice if it wasn't in the middle of the night so I could see. But... Oh, we won! I think we killed Vlad. Oh, no, he's alive. Take that! <laughs> Let's also see if we can steal some money off him by ferociously intimidating him. <laughs> Take that, Vlad. <laughs> I just realized. So remember last time we ate his mailbox that was here? The game generated one inside his front door. Great placement. Hey, give me some money, Vlad. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry, Vlad. I'll, I'll clean up your mailbox for you. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Um, what else could we take? Hmm. Seeing what looks yummy in here. <laughs> this statue looks expensive. I don't know if it is, but I'm going to eat it. I'm back to normal now, but oh, I have to. Okay, I think I have to devour this because I can't get to that. That's all right. Om nom 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 nom. We'll just eat a couple more things so we get another point and then we'll we'll be on our way. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we got another point. Super speed would be great. I did actually want to get that one. Um, the will to resist would also, also be good to regain control because it is sometimes annoying to in, be enraged. Oh, there's so many good abilities. So like enhanced smell to sniff out information and treasure. So we can get better treasure and we can also sniff out other occult sims. The hunting would also be good because we seem to be having trouble with a bit of food. Lunar resistance would be good. The speed though, I'm wondering, I think speed might be great. I'm going to go werewolf speed. Let's get that. So how does that work? Oh, activate super speed. All right. Is it just like a vampire thing? Oh yes, she does do the run. Okay, good. That that was the one thing I was kind of a little disappointed with the, the uh, uh, what am I saying? I was about to say vampires, with werewolves, was that they don't run everywhere. But I guess now with my super speed, if I said like, let's go down to the town square, I'm setting it to a werewolf so it looks better. Yeah, now we get, whoa, that is definitely super speed. Wee! <laughs> yeah! Fast travel, baby! That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that might be a little fast looking, but it's great. It's really good. All right, let's get back home. <laughs> All righty, Nina. Whoa, it is very snowy here now. Okay, I'm gonna send Nina back down to the tunnels and I'm gonna hope that we can find something new down there. So she should get over there pretty quick now, right? Yeah, sweet. All right. Oh yeah, so we got, okay, we got this new sundial. Oh, I was hoping I could just drag it. I have to click place in world. Just a cool little decorative item. We'll put it somewhere in our lot. Um, and Angus, what do you have? You got Mooncaster Memento, because we've got a few things that we've unlocked, so I should probably be putting them around the place. All right, um, it's still 3 a.m. and I don't think my pack mates are really around at this time, which is uh, what I'm trying to do. So I guess, well, clean out Swell. Let's get rid of the junk in your inventory. There you go. And then, okay, the room is clean, which is nice. Let's go hunt for some fresh food, because he's a little hungry. All right, we're at the old mill, which we don't always get that. That's a good one. I think that means we're kind of going somewhere different. I don't know, I might try continuing at the old mill. I'll read these if I get a new one popping up, but, oh, Frog City. But yeah, if it's one we've had before, I won't go reading through all of them. Ooh, lifestyle gained. Nero has unlocked the Adrenaline Seeker lifestyle. Okay. Angus has returned with some fresh meat he found. All right, good. Well, let's eat it. Oh, okay, Nina left the underground, so we didn't find... Oh, hey, man. I'm going to share my werewolf experiences. Do you like me? Oh, you kind of do like me. That's nice. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. All right, I'm just going to send it back in. Now, Angus, it looks like hopefully now some of your pack mates should be arriving. I mean, Christopher's there, so... Ooh, Nina found some platinum. Okay. I thought it said platinum, but no, there's an H in there. Okay. It, it'll be nice to get Angus the uh, the running thing too. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's just so funny watching them jog around like normal. All right. Uh, Jacob, where the heck are you? I just need to talk to you. Jacob is sleeping. Okay. Well, you're a werewolf. What are you sleeping for? <laughs> I'm gonna try again. Okay, Jacob will be right over, supposedly. Christopher's here. Oh, we found grilled lunar fish and a mandrake. Very nice. I don't know where, J oh, there he is. I was gonna say, I don't know where Jacob is, but he's here, he's here, all right. Also, I'm assuming in werewolf form, we're not getting cold, which is actually really nice. Oh, dude. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna share some concerns about Greg. I actually also wanna ask you a little bit about Moonwood Mill, because I think if we do that a few times, we get some, um, Different information, right? Now, Nina, once again, has exited and found nothing new. I mean, we found some good stuff here. 
Do I eat the grilled lunar fish? Sounds yummy. Mandrake got sundial, got some platinum. 20 bucks, not worth much, but go back in there again. Oh, what? Why was that a negative? Was I just asking about Moonwood Mill? Why is that a negative interaction? It's always the darkest out during the new moon. I can't count how many times in the past I've stubbed my toe on something in the dark. Sounds like you could use the night vision perk, buddy. What else you got for me? I don't think I'd ever want to leave Moonwood. I don't like the small town feel, the fact that everyone is really close in here. Plus I found my... Okay, Nina, I'm trying to read that. Um, you can just go to the gibberish. I found my pack. If I need to move anywhere though, I'd be interested in seeing Evergreen Harbor. That's where I'm from. Oh, cool. I'm gonna ask him about Moonwood Mill again. Oh, you gave me a present? Oh, you gave me a perch. Thanks, man. That's so nice. I feel like I should give you something. I don't really have anything to give you though. Oh, I, it's, I realized I left it zoomed in for a bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not sure how the lunar statue in Moonwood Mill stays in sync with the moon. Maybe it's magic or maybe it's someone, or maybe someone is much more mechanically savvy than I am. I mean, I guess it could be magic, it could be spellcasters. Ooh, Nina feels a present, a presence, a twinge of fear for an apex alpha werewolf. She looks around the dark tunnel, but can't see anything that may have caused the sensation. Still feels like someone is watching. What a creepy feeling. Mm. Hey, Lily. Oh, see you, Lily. Oh, total hatching season. <gasps> Do you reckon we could devour the turtles? <laughs> I mean, we kind of want to try it. Well, maybe we, maybe when Lily comes out, not Lily, what am I talking about? Maybe when Nina comes out, we can try it. It's science, it's not, nothing bad about it. Oh, a present. Oh, no, no, Jacob. No, 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 Jake, Jacob. No, no, Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. No, no, Jake, Jacob, 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 Jacob. Ah, oh, dang it. Hey, Lily. Well, I gotta become friends with you too. Oh, wait. No, I'm already friends with Lily. It's the other, I need um, Wolfgang. Man, becoming friends with these people is tough. I guess I could just cloud, I could look, I could just cloud guys to take photos, but you know, I wanna, I wanna learn something new about these people. Wolfgang's already here. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Let's ask Lily about Moonwood Mill. What do you have to say for yourself? I was gonna give you a compliment. You're pretty cool. So share some photos. I took some sweet photos the other day. It's pretty awesome. I heard about that fateful date Lou and Celine went on. Oh, Celine, so Celine's the bartender. Um, what a silly man. And Lou, I guess is the, from, Wild fangs that Nina's in the pack with. Everyone knows Greg is dangerous. To provoke him was just foolhardy. It must have been traumatizing for poor Selena. I wonder if she took the remedy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ah, charisma level two. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, Nina left again. Okay, we're really not finding anything. I feel like am I just bad at the underground? Because we still we have yet to like discover all the connections in the underground. I don't know if I'm just bad at navigating it or what. Oh, there he is. Wait, are you? Are you stuck back there? Are you okay, dude? Oh, okay, it's just doing push-ups in the snow. All right. Now that's the Sims 4 thing if I've ever seen it. All right. We gotta chat to, uh, gotta make sure we're chatting to him because we gotta become friends with everyone. We got There's only four people I have to become friends with. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's not that hard, but you know, I like to take my time. Hey man, what's going on? Hey, do you wanna, hang on, let's go add to group. Uh, actions, add to group. Then I should be able to say if I friendly, more, 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 more. More, more. Tell a group story. Tell a fairy tale about a troll. Oh, I guess I didn't need to put them in a group to tell a group story. Okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I didn't need to do that. All right, in you go. <laughs> Back to the underground. I want to find the link to the portal potties because that'd be, oh, I'm lost. <laughs> That's why I need the link. Uh, that'd be nice to be able to get from here over there because at the moment we can go portal potties to the sewer and then sewer to the bunker, but we can't go portal potties to the bunker. So that'd be a good little um, link. Ooh, I love books. Histories are my favorite, though I've never felt quite talented enough to write one. No, I stick to my fiction, though I always write with the intention to teach. There you go. Oh, I'm bored. Okay. You have to be... Discuss expanding the family. Sure, let's do that. You want to like cloud gaze or something? I feel like that would help. I'm really tired too. I, I guess I need to sleep because I don't like sleeping at night. I mean, they seem to be liking my story, at least a little bit. Apparently I'm really bored from this discuss. I'm the one telling the story. Why am I bored of it? <laughs> <laughs> did did um, Nina find some treasure? It said old mill treasure, but I don't think we actually got anything. Wolfgang is creative. There you go. We're making pretty good progress. We are not like best friends yet. And Nina's back out again. All right. I, I feel like I, I'm not, I don't get anywhere with her. <laughs> I try and I try and I try. I guess we're not cloud guys. Hey, wait, what did I ask? You're not comfortable with that at the moment? <laughs> Did I just ask you to cloud gaze? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Three out of four, let's go. All right, Nina, back in the tunnels. Yeah, so now we are friends with Jacob. Not Jacob, Wolfgang, sorry. Oh, are we finally cloud gazing? What the heck? 
I did that ages ago. That's not even that's not even what we're doing right now. Oh wait, no, it is there. Hang on, stop cloud gazing. We don't we don't need to do that. Just a little werewolf tug of war, and then we're gonna do like a little werewolf spa. You know, a little bit of fun. And I think I need to go around. And, oh, you know what I should do? I want to dress up as like a really formal diplomat because you know we have to do out werewolf diplomacy, right? And be an ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> so can I, I? We should put on like a little suit and go around and try to sell. The idea of being a werewolf, you know. Anyway, let's have a little spa first. <laughs> yeah, just, a, just a little bit of tussle. We also need to do some more working out, I reckon. Um, keep that up. Oh, look at Nina go. Adrenaline-induced confidence on an adventure. She's having a great time. Wait, how are we back at zero out of 25 werewolf domination? Didn't we complete that last time? I'm not sure why that's back at zero. Oh, well, it's pretty easy to do if I just pee on the ground 25 times in a row. All right, good sparring, everybody. All right, you've really got to sleep. So can we just... Let's just sleep in there. Might as well, like right here, instead of sleeping in the snow, which might be a little cold. All right, so he's just sleeping inside. All right, diverging paths. I'm pretty sure finding the fresh air just takes us out, but I wonder if it will it take us out to a different exit. Maybe it will. Oh, <gasps> it actually did. <laughs> Leaving the underground, Nina eventually reaches what seems to be the end of the tunnel. There she finds a ladder leading up with light spilling into the tunnel from above. As she climbs, the echo of her feet on the ladder's rungs gets louder and louder until Nina emerges in a blue plastic box. Oh wait, it's a portal potty. Let's go! Hang on. There we go! Yeah! Tunnel path discovered. Nina can now use the underground tunnels to travel directly between the sparring ground and the portal potties and old bunker exit above ground. Fantastic. So look at this. Travel to sewer great. Travel to ground level bunker. Explore the underground. So if I go... So I'm wondering, maybe I was supposed to be using find the fresh air when I get to different points. Huh. I'm gonna have to try that some more. So if I, let's say, let's go follow the magical melody and then at the next option, let's say find the fresh air and see where we get up, get to. Ooh, Mooncaster Pot Shard. Heck yeah, I found a collectible. All right, so let's say find the fresh air now, okay? See where that takes us. Leaving the underground. The tunnel's earthy scent gets mustier and Nina comes to an opening in the dirt passageway that seems to be some sort of large metal pipe. It angles upwards, eventually leading to an easily removable grate. Nina pushes past it and out into some sort of industrial culvert above ground. Oh, okay, yeah, so that one we actually ended up over here. Okay, so I feel like I misunderstood the underground and the way I was supposed to discover stuff. So that one was after the enchanted room. I wonder if we do the same one. So let's go, let's navigate the debris. I'm just figuring this out because we have to basically do it all again with Angus anyway because he hasn't he hasn't explored the underground yet. So let's go attempt to lift the old mill wheel. Also, I'm going to, um, for Angus, oh, I can't contribute. I don't have any food. I've got like a bunch of fish they gave me. Can I eat these? Oh, I can just eat fish as a werewolf. That's kind of cool. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> nom nom nom. Wait, Nina just found large pet poop. Why would I? <laughs> that's that's all. That's fine if you stumble upon a pet poop in the tunnel. But why did you pick it up and be like, "Yep, I'll take that one for later." <laughs> Like, what the heck, Nina? Apparently I can sell it for a dollar. I might just pop it in the bin. There we go. Nom 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 nom. All right, where, where the heck is... I feel like Jacob is not is not involved in this pack. All right, let's find the fresh air, see where she ends up on that one. Jacob, where the heck you at? Jacob will be right over. Okay. Yeah, look, leaving the underground of the bunker door. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Bum's calling me. Thank you for suggesting I hang out with Rose Poppyfield. We had a spectacular time. Well, good for you. Um, now... I guess I should point out, uh, I'm doing some pre-recording at the moment because we're having some like house renovations done. So the last like, wh what episode is this? Seven? Three parts, I think, before this have sort of all been done before they've gone out. So I don't really have feedback. So I'm hoping I haven't done anything too bad, but that might be why I didn't know about the tunnel stuff. But it is kind of fun discovering it and figuring it out. So even though it may take longer um, than other people. <laughs> Let's mark territory because you need to pee pretty bad. <sighs> That's better. Oh wait, it's back to 23 out of 25 now. Okay, cool. All right, Nina. Um, well, you wanna, hang on. Let's groom ourselves. So I'm gonna say groom self, and then I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna do some more working out because oh, okay. Well, we will go over here and we'll, we'll work out in a minute. Okay, is Jacob here? Is that Jacob? Yeah. Hey, Jacob. I'm gonna ask you about some moonwood. I'm gonna ask you some more moon. Oh my god, dude! Turn into werewolf form, dude! Become a werewolf. You're gonna freeze. What are you doing? Hang on. Wait, I can save him. Um, can I like ask to see outfit? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. I can save him. Cold weather. Okay. Dude. 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 Put some warm clothes on. What are you doing? Hey, man. Do you mind seeing if I can see your cold weather wear? He's like, <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Oh. I feel like I did a good deed. As part of the Moonwood Collective, I feel like I did something good there. Uh, are you cold too? Why wouldn't you just be a werewolf then? What is wrong with you people? I'll see you cold. Oh, he's just doing push-ups now. Okay. 
Now, Nina, how are you going? You're over here. Hey, Lou. Okay, so you're now in your cold weather wear, I think, as well. Can we all please just stay warm? Like, <laughs> you're a vegetarian. Oh, a vegetarian werewolf. Interesting choice. Okay, what? why? Why are you standing in the middle? It's so awkward. And you're also not facing anyone. <laughs> Just standing in the middle of the conversation, looking the other way. Oh dear. Anyway, I want to learn more about Moonwood Mill. Let's have a joke about werewolves too, that'll be fine. Meanwhile, Nina... Oh, what's this? Dad has always taught me that non wear sims are to be protected. I don't blame them for being afraid of us, given the history and the vampire propaganda. I hope that someday they'll see us for who we really are as an occult, though. Oh, I kind of, I, I thought he was going to say something else there. So I, I kind of was reading that like I was going to keep going. But yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> hey, um, do you mind if I, I, I kind of want, I, do you mind if I use this? Ever since I was little, dad has taught me to control my emotions. I'm grateful I haven't l had to learn the hard way. Oh, the human hijinks fe festival's on. Sweet. Hey, yeah, do you mind, do you mind if I, thanks. Oh my gosh, she is ripped. Dang, the working out's been paying off. She is so muscly. Dang. All right, how are we going over here? Are we friends with you yet? Oh, Brody. <laughs> Brody's out inviting me to the human hijinks festival. Actually, I do want to go because... I want to do some werewolf diplomacy. I want to get a nice little outfit on. I'm just hoping, is it, there's going to be a mirror here. Yeah, hang on. I just got to go, let me go um, change sim real quick. Oh my gosh, so many people just arrived here. Hey everyone. Right. I just need to get my, <laughs> my diplomat. Oh, what? Oh, I'm probably going to go to the other bathroom. I want to get my diplomat outfit on. I'll just do it as like formal so I don't wear it all the time. Now, I feel like we, we don't have really much money, so it can't be very nice. Is there any like werewolf one I could wear? Nothing formal though. It has to it has to kind of be formal though. Like, is there one that just doesn't look like super nice, but it's like <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. The Moschino outfit, but no, that looks really expensive, especially because it's Moschino. From these all look really nice. I want something that's kind of not nice, but like still, still like I've tried to dress up. You know? Wait, can I not? I can't add shoes to werewolves, but their feet are like the same size as regular Sims. Why can't I wear shoes? <laughs> Well, I can't wear a hat either. Dang it. <laughs> well, this is my, my diplomat outfit. All right. <laughs> diplomat Angus is here. Oh, is that a lump of clay? Heck yeah. All right, let's go to the festival. We got to go change some minds today. Breathe some diplomacy into the people of city living. What's this place called? San Maishuno. Dang. He looks good. You may also note that that is a Batu outfit. He's here representing all Batuvian citizens. Actually, no, I'm here to represent werewolves. Um, well, Brody already likes it, so that's fine. Oh, gosh. Okay, you're clearly a werewolf, and you're about to lose it, so there's that. Hello, Jan Dorset. Hello there. I come from Moonwood Mill. Is that Hazel? Oh, hey, Mom. Should probably, should probably say hi to Mom. Hang on. Um, hug lovingly. Hey, Mom. Yeah, this is what happened after I moved to Moonwood Mill. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> Whole family's here. Um, ask Hazel if she wants to become a werewolf. No, we'll leave her. She's okay. Um... Well of diplomacy. Let's just see. Okay, can you, mom, really? And also dad, what the heck? What? Okay, you're over there telling, oh no. Dad's gonna embarrass me with the jokes he's telling. Oh no, he's telling a joke about peeing his pants. What's the deal with peeing your pants? It happens every week. No, it doesn't. That's just you. I'm here representing the werewolf kind. We humbly request that you show some kindness and respect to werewolves. Let's also give her the, uh, the werewolf thing. How do I do that? Um, I don't have any werewolf options. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, let me let me get Dad off the stage. Come on, you're just embarrassing yourself. Oh, that's that's kind of cute. Hazel was cheering him on a little bit. <laughs> she was the only one. Oh, okay, he's gone. Dad, what the heck? Are you running away from? Oh, actually, he's running away from her. Okay, that no, that's fair enough. Um. Hmm. You know, I, I'm here on a diplomatic mission. I was sent by the Council of Moonwood Mill, the Moonwood Collective. And Mizuki, you are actually kind of jeopardizing this mission um, by literally scaring everyone and rampaging. Um, run away. No, why don't I have the option to... Why can't I... Shouldn't I be able to, um, what is it called? Like, bring them down? Like how I could do it with Nina? Why can't I stop you from rampaging? Oh, it's a vampire. Oh, yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so Mayumi is a vampire. Interesting. Oh, yeah, what's happening? You, uh, wait, did I did I do the, um, did I diplomat you? Hey, Dad, I know that there's a werewolf on the loose, uh, com completely enraged. Oh, um, okay. Completely enraged at the moment, but, like, we're not all bad. The Moonwood Collective seeks to, uh, embolden the greater San Maishino community. Ah, oh, Brody. 
Um, cool. We can also do the secret alien handshake, because Angus is half alien too. That's the other thing. We're like sort of half alien, but I guess also a werewolf. I, I don't know. Our bloodline is a mix. We've got a lot of things going on. Oh, alien handshake. All right, where's that what You. No, I don't want to run away. Why can't I? I guess because I don't know you maybe. All right, who else is here? Well, Candle's here. Hey, Candle. The whole fam is here. Oh my God, the whole fam is here. Colum is here. Colum Big Wallet. That's my, who? Who are? Wait, what? We have a, we have another sibling. Really? Mum and dad are both here and neither of them told me about it? Cause I don't know if you guys remember, but what episode one of this Let's Play, mum called and asked if they should have another baby. And I said, I'll leave it up to you. I guess they did. Christina Monet, welcome to the family. We should probably go see if we can meet them. Anyway, I was trying to figure out how Column is related. Oh my God, it's really far back, I think, isn't it? Hang on, I think we have to go through Ambrose, maybe through Bob. No, no, it's even further back through Samaj, I think, right? Yeah, the column is there. Yeah, so, oh, that's right. So Reginald lives in Moonwood Mill, which we haven't really done anything with him yet. We should get in touch. Um, and his mom is Colin Big Wallet. Who's his dad? Oh, Simeon Silver, Silver's sweater. The, uh, well, the old sage. Hey, Colin. Well, let's go say hi to Colin and convince her that werewolves aren't all bad, even though there's one that's pretty bad right now. Oh yeah, look at mom dance. Also, really guys, you're both here and you didn't think to tell me you have a newborn child that is also my little sister. Hey, Colin. Yeah, okay, everyone's a little, no, no, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're not all, we're not all bad. Colin, please, Colin. I'm just trying to say hello. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck in a howling loop, I think, because the other, <laughs> well, not a loop, but the other werewolf I think is howling, so I keep howling back. <laughs> hey, Colum, what's going on? Whoever you are in relation to my family. How do we have, how have we still not said hello? Oh my gosh, just please. Okay, this werewolf, where, where is that werewolf? You need to get out of here. Colum, let me say, oh my gosh, I saw you. <laughs> Brody just flicked him in the nose. Get him, Brody. Go, Grandpire. Wait, where did Colum go? Oh, she's gone. This diplomatic mission isn't going as well as I thought it would. Okay, okay. okay. And I, I keep howling back at this werewolf too. <laughs> They're really ruining <laughs> the festival. <laughs> you know, I might um enable this werewolf option. Limit werewolves to Moonwood Mill. Werewolf sims outside of the active household will not appear autonomously in beast form in other worlds other than Moonwood Mill. Certain player directed actions such as werewolf brawls will still cause werewolves to transform. So this will obviously happen next time we load, but that should just, cause I want to go on this, these diplomatic werewolf missions, but I, I don't really want a rampaging werewolf whilst I'm trying to do it. All right, let's get back home. Cause uh, th things are going off the rails there. <laughs> yeah. I really, it was fun though. All right, Angus is gonna come back. All right, you can change back out of that. Hey, Nina. Um, cool. So, I mean, that was pretty good. So we, Angus has got, become friends with everyone in the in the uh, pack. We're zero out of 15 for being a werewolf ambassador, but I think that's just because I traveled. It usually updates, but um, yeah, that's good. Where's Cupcake? I feel like Cupcake needs us. I'm gonna buy Cupcake over. I, I, I do want, I still want to adopt, adopt them. I like how you can call up a dog and just invite them over. It doesn't make any sense at all. Let's get to know, let's tell a story, play. Nina, you can, you know what we, we should do? I think we need some more workout gear. So obviously the weights machine builds muscle. Treadmills reduce your fitness or like the, the slider. Cause there's like the muscle slider and then like the fitness slider, right? And I think, but what does the punching bag do? I don't know, let's get one in here. I feel like this is a good place for a little workout corner, you know? I'm gonna put a vampire on it. Although the dad's a vampire, maybe not. All right, Nina, you wanna go work on that? No, no, do, don't devour it, just box it. <laughs> No, no, no devouring. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah. All right, how's Cupcake going? I'm a little tired, but uh, it is nighttime, so he doesn't like sleeping at nighttime. Oh, this counts as being a good werewolf ambassador? Heck yeah. Bark at the moon? Oh, what does that do? Is that just a regular pet thing or is that like a werewolf thing? I have no idea. There's a little treat for you. Bark at the moon. Let's go. Do we do it together? No, oh, hang on. Uh, hang on, we can. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute, actually. Provoke? I don't want to provoke you. Vent about problems. Skull, that's so sad. Why am I so angry? Don't be angry. Um, Somber how, that'll make you feel better. Oh, you need to hunt, that's why. Can I adopt you yet? I don't know. Anyway, you need to go hunting because you are losing it. Hunt for food. There you go. Nina, oh, Nina's just gone to sleep. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Oh, $103 from investing, yeah. You know those werewolf diplomats, they're known for their investments in the stock market. And you wanna go blow off some steam? Get him, Angus. Oh, that's so weak. <laughs> that's so weak. Eh, eh. <laughs> oh, that was enough. Sleepy time. 
Well, on that note, I'm going to leave this part here. I think we made some good progress with Angus today. Um, I do like his diplomat um, endeavors, you know, traveling the world. We should go to each world, make some treaties with the local citizens, get them all to understand that werewolves are pretty cool. And then Nina should travel to each of the worlds and turn them all into werewolves. <laughs> no, I don't know. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I think um, now we're just going to sort of build up his level a little bit more so then he can sort of become uh, the alpha and, and sort of work his way up the ranks. So I don't think he's, he's even, he's not even anywhere near beta rank yet, I don't think. So we got to do some more pack stuff with him. Nina, I think we should just get her absolutely ripped and like huge and then just take out Rory and <laughs> become the leader. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.